Hi, I'm sitting here today on the porch. Something that I love to do, sit on the porch, watch the traffic go by, drink coffee, pray. But my thought for today is, is waiting. How many of y'all get tired of waiting? I think I have a degree in waiting. My whole life I've had to wait on everything. I remember when I was little, we moved from Georgia to Alabama down to Mobile. And we'd go home to see our family in Georgia. And I'd always say, when are we going to be there? And they'd always say, we're almost there. We're almost there. And I got sick and tired of waiting. Well, how many of you are sick and tired of waiting? You know, tonight in church, I'm going to talk about waiting. And you got to understand, waiting in a time of nothingness. Waiting in the time where you're just sitting there miserable. If you're waiting in misery, then something's wrong. You should be waiting in anticipation. There is power in anticipation. Man, when I know something's going to happen, I have that anticipation. I can remember as a child, I played baseball. And I would get up, if I had a game at 3 o'clock on Saturday, I'd be up at 6 o'clock, taking a bath, put my full uniform on, because I was ready to go out and play ball. I didn't sit around miserable waiting. I was waiting in anticipation. I would take the bat in my hands and I would swing it and I would envision stepping to the plate and hitting a home run. Because see, when you're fat, it's easier to hit a home run. That way you ain't got to run around the base. You can just trot. So I wanted to be a home run hitter so I didn't have to run. I could just trot. But I would wait in anticipation. Today, wait in anticipation. Know that God has a plan for your life. Know that what you're waiting for will come to pass. Know that as you obey him that God has a destiny for you. And that destiny is going to take place in his time. You know what you can do when you're waiting? You can mount up his wings as eagles. You can run. You can walk. Does that sound like a time of nothingness? That sounds like a time of excitement and growth. And remember, what you're living through now, you're building memories that you're going to keep for an eternity those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. So don't wait in misery. Wait in anticipation. Have a great day. If this has been a little blessing to you, share and pass it along the way. This is Scotty Scott, Pastor of Gospel Way Church in Everton, Alabama. Irvington, Alabama. I said it wrong, Dawson. Have a great day.